don't really should like any of you, Should any of you be at work? Yeah. Because Steve Austin is always beering himself and like, yeah. yeah, and then it's like, you know. So I feel like the right foot works. Because it helps you stay tight. Yeah. You should do that at the end of your shirt, really. <laughs> yeah. So you're not covered in beer. Jane Austen. I like that. That's funny. It's good. I think that's the way it is. Come, Come on. on. Get Come it. on. No! I don't often get to try one of the best problems around, but this trip was organized mainly to try Suavito, which is actually in number two of the best problems in the big district, according to UKC. I would say what makes this problem good is a mixture of location, aesthetics of the boulder, the quality of the rock and the quality of the moves, as they get better and better the higher you go. I kept telling myself that all the moves were going to be doable, so it was going to be a case of having a well padded floor and a bald head to be able to climb it. Despite this, I felt quite intimidated when standing at the base of it, as none of the pictures or videos I had seen of it really do it justice. I guess because of this I didn't get too far on my flash attempt. This first try was followed by a number of attempts where I basically climbed to the last move and then bail. Time and time again I just couldn't commit to the lip move. However, I did gain a bit of confidence every time and got more familiar with the moves. It took me 8 tries in the end to be able to commit to the last move and top out this block. Next up was the Sausage King of Millsbrook, which is a problem just behind Suavito that climbs at 7C plus or V10 and that I couldn't really touch. I pulled on a few times but I couldn't see myself climbing it, so I decided to step back and watch instead. Both John and Charlie got really close to sending it. I'm sure it will probably go for them next time they try it. So I'm quite chuffed with Suavito, uh, I was really really scared at the top uh, but I decided committing and I got lucky but it really really felt like I could like land badly although I had plenty of spotters and a sea of pads it did it felt uh, it did feel like I could fight, fell badly and hurt myself but I did it. Now we are in the hunt for Bin Laden's cave which is this block that uh, apparently is really hard to find, hence the name. Um, so yeah, it's a little 7A block and it's quite good climbing, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Bin Laden's cave turned out to be quite hidden in the middle of the woods and despite getting there in around 10 minutes, I think it would have taken us the best part of an hour to find it without my friend Carlos leading the way. 
It did look great though, so I couldn't wait to pull on. Luckily got the flash, which meant that I would still have some time to try the left hand side version called Ben Liller Mool, that climbs at 7A plus or V7. This block turned out to be harder than it looked at first as I found it hard to generate momentum to catch this crimp. I managed to send the problem when I figure out how to jump and catch the hold. The rest of the problem didn't feel like a giveaway, but at the same time, it does share part of the top out with Bin Laden's cave, which I had just climbed before and felt familiar. I was so happy for having climbed these blocks to be honest, especially Suavito, as it took much more commitment than I had anticipated. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you guys soon!